sucks, I am the Duchess Watch, watch, watch how I play the best seamstress Yes, 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 I don't pay interest Hello there, I am Zinta Ramalo, founder of Black African and Beautiful Media Group, which is a digital marketing agency that is based in Johannesburg, South Africa. Twenty twenty saw the beginning of the end of many things. We were catapulted into what we now know as a digital economy. One of the hardest impacted industries were the hospitality and tourism sector. We witnessed many hotels and we witnessed many airlines become grounded and close their doors. Some used their time to renovate, recalibrate and fire as soon as governments ease their lockdown regulations. So when we talk about breaking borders, what exactly do we mean for the hospitality and tourism industry that were once leaders in globalization? Is the solution adaption to digitization? Well, this is what we're going to find out. I'm Zinta Ramano, and this is Breaking Borders. Rapper but look like a model. These bitches wait for me to arrive. Addition these niggas and idols. Pussy like water a title. Yeah. So today is one of those days where I am shooting my headshots for my TEDx talk, which I'm super duper excited about. Like, I just feel like everything is coming together the way that it's supposed to. Do you guys see me? My wait, hello. You guys see me? My professional drip. This is my professional drip. But I'm wearing biker. I'm wearing like bike shorts underneath. <laughs> so yeah, you know the vibes. My life's in there. <laughs> I was sick in Singapore. I had a fever, I had chills, diarrhea, and I was told by the crew staff that I needed to quarantine for a bit of a time. It didn't click at the time, but when you look at the symptoms of COVID 19 fever, chills, diarrhea, sickness, and more. I probably ticked off 50% of those. I'm Zinta Ramano, founder of Black African and Beautiful, also known as Bad Media Group, a digital media agency that generates traffic in over 27 countries in four countries. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Let me grab Google. Google! Pandemic globalized world. There's a saying that in by technology, monetary, and financial innovation. There's an African proverb that states that if you want to go fast, you go alone. Yet if you want to go far, you go together. And by now you're probably asking yourself... Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that, but shout out to my YLC ladies, Ati Roetu, who says I'm here to support Zinta Ramano. I'll actually put it in like a corner here. Rufibe de Juamaje, who says you go Zinta. <laughs> Super excited over here. I'm so excited. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who's supporting right now. This is amazing. This is amazing. Ah, my mentor! My mentor is there. At this year's TEDx Hochschule. Miss Charmaine. Denise Nickerson, born in Atlanta, ah. is a real movie. I'm very much in. I, I like that idea. Are you vegetarian yourself? Uh, no, I'm not. But I try. I try sometimes. Also, all the amount of logistics that creates the carbon footprint in terms of. Uh, of taking these goods across. It means creating inventories, it creates waste. 3D printing addresses this problem by being able to print a part or a product wherever it is being consumed. So that is a fundamental shift in the supply chain that, uh, that is happening. And that will happen with 3D printing. Very informative, thank you. Um, so my Yes, you can unmute yourself now. All right. Um, then our first question, somebody asked, do you think another 
name or um, set of characteristics will emerge from Gen 4 Gen Z after this pandemic? Yeah, the nickname for Awesome. So, Sinfe, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, beautiful. So, what would you wish um, that you would have known as a young South African female? I like, wish it. Oh, sorry. Three years ago, maybe. Three years ago. Okay, so three years ago, I was about 24. I would say that it's okay to take your time when it comes to your education, because I think if you reach the finish line according to everyone else's standards and all of that doesn't necessarily mean that you understood your accomplishments. Um, and also, um, I wish, I would wish that I knew that it's okay to like, just be myself. So, yeah. Yeah, beautiful. I think that's good advice for everybody. Then we will go back to the leaks. Um, and there we have a very interesting question. Somebody asked, as a New Zealander living in Switzerland, I wonder what experts could do to connect online, break language, cultural barriers across these newly imposed barriers. I think that's a great question. And of course, a really great question for Switzerland, which is such a microcosm of multiculturalism that yeah. then can be carried out in other countries. Um, it's, it's a challenge if we don't speak the same language, obviously. And I have been in multilingual digital groups, and they can be a bit of a cacophony where you understand the main point, but then you don't understand the discussion that goes on or those kinds of things. But I do feel that thanks to technology, we're moving towards um, AI in real time mm. translations, uh, both in sound and sight. So I do think that this will be taking care of itself. And then we can focus on our roles as guides and ambassadors. I, I'm old school, I'm not a gamer, but I know gamers are really good at this. And, and getting people into a new culture. And I was an exchange student when I was a teenager. And I think we have to think, um, not get too relaxed and say, oh, every digital space, I get it, I have technical skills, but more think of every single digital space is an exciting new country. And we need our host family, we need our friend, our first friend to show us the ropes and let us know the inside jokes and understand the culture. So if we focus more on culture setting and less on rules, and then, you know, in the meantime, we, I use Google Translate all the time. I use Thank the technical you. tools to keep me going if I'm engaged in something. And, and uh, we, need, we need young people to, to help us develop more tools and make us better at connecting and communicating. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Wonderful. Exchange students. Being an exchange student is a wonderful thing. Yeah. Our class consists of those exchange students. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Louis? Again, a question for you, and this question is, what is your most memorable moment from your adventures? Oh, <laughs> there are so many. I, that's a hard one to say. Um, the most memorable in, the, in, the, in any of my adventures. Mm -hmm. The first one I, I guess when I, I guess when I met Ban Ki-moon, the UN Secretary General in New, New York, mm -hmm. I drove him to work with my solar car and we were escorted by seven police cars. And uh, that's probably one of my real highlights <laughs> of my life. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. We got a message in the chat from Denise. I hope we can all meet Louis in Paris with his butterfly. <laughs> yes, we should. We should. Yes, I hope so. <laughs> but we need to see how we get there because we don't have to solo qualify. Um, then Andy, again. Yes. Okay, so how do you think you, how do you think um, 3D printing will or can affect affordable housing? 3D printing is already impacting affordable housing. As you can see, there are 3D printed houses coming up. And uh, there's a 3D printed house that came up right here in uh, in the U.S., uh, somewhere in the area of New Jersey, and this person cut the price of the house down by almost 35 percent. One of the great things about 3D printing is the ability to do uh, things at a lower cost with less waste. Uh, the second thing is uh, that you can do it uh, with more precision in terms of what you want for an individual, so it's personalization. 
And a lot of times when you're building something, including a house, you have to do things which... ...by training, he is passionate to advocate for inclusive business practices and closing the income gap with innovative ways of using technology to help the underserved. Welcome, Andy Kalambi. is safe until everyone is safe. This has been the most significant lesson for us through the last 15 months of this pandemic. Every time we feel that the worst is behind us, a new hotspot, a new variant, something comes up and we feel that we are back to where we were. Apart from the health challenges, this crisis has exposed a lot of fault lines in our socio-economic fabric, growing income inequality, the deterioration of the environment. These are topics that have been discussed now for a long time, and yet the needle doesn't move. In fact, during this crisis, the income inequality has widened. 25 people today in the world have more than $50 billion of wealth. And 500 individuals added $2 trillion of wealth through the last one year. A 31% increase. The environment took a breather, but poverty alleviation, income inequality, not so much. In fact, a recent Washington Post article talks about the various sections of society that have not yet fully recovered, even though the headlines look good in terms of job recoveries. Mothers of school-going children, people of color, people who don't have a college degree, all of, the, all of these people have not yet recovered the jobs that they were there before the pandemic. In fact, just to give you one statistic, women of color have probably been there. Okay. Um, that's actually a fantastic question. So, um, as I mentioned in my talk, so Young Leaders Connect, we do have different programs um, that people could join, um, which includes education from things that we have with our entrepreneurship program. We've partnered with the University of Stellenbosch here in South Africa. Um, so um, it helps entrepreneurs get on board. We've also um, partnered with the Institute of Directors South Africa um, for people who want to learn about how to be a good you know, um, board member and legislation around that. Um, and we continue to grow um, with the funding we get, supporting we get, and um, as we continue to partner with International Women's Forum South Africa. So I think the first step would be to join us. <laughs> so if anyone wants um, details, I'll put it in the chat below. Thank you. That would be great. Thank you so much. And then we already have to come to our last question.